Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. In today's video, I want to share with you a bag that I purchased when I was traveling uh, to London for work in February of 2020. That was one of my last trips that I ever took before the pandemic hit and it was actually right before the pandemic hit. In hindsight, I wish I purchased more when I was there, uh, but it is what it is. So sharing with you a Lueve bag. You probably can see from the dust bag their beautiful logo here. I was thinking about this purchase for a very, very long time, uh, whether I should get it, if it's really something I would use all the time, if it suits my style. So revealing to you the small size puzzle bag. This is in the color, I believe it's called Sand Dune. And again, it's the small size. Um, I'll show some close-ups of it. I'm sure there are a lot of videos out there on YouTube, but I wanted to share this with you because ever since I bought it, I really have used it quite consistently. I try to rotate my bags every few weeks. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't, I don't rotate it for about a month, but I try to give each of my bags some good um, airtime. And so this is one of the bags that I purchased in this color. I was debating on this color or the tan color. And I, at the end, I chose this because it was still a very neutral color. It sort of has like that two-tone effect. And I, I thought it was um, pretty rare and special. Although I do see other YouTubers have this now, but it's less common than the tan color. And I do have a tan color bag. Uh, from one of my previous videos, you see I have an Evelyn gold color bag, which is the Hermes um, camel color. So I figured I would try this one out. So this is in the gold hardware. The strap, I did move it down or, or shrink the, the length to the shortest setting. So for the shortest setting, it will just be like a shoulder bag on me. Um, one con that I have about the bag already is the fact that this little loop is a little not loose but it, it it's not very tight and when I move the strap around a lot it does kind of fall back up it, it moves up and down very easily so this this strap when it goes up like this it flops around like that and it, it, it can get a little bit annoying so I always have to adjust it to bring it back so it stays in place if you have any tips on how to keep this little guy in place, um, I don't need it to be really tight, but I just wanted to keep the strap in place so this part doesn't dangle like that. It's not a huge issue. It's just a little annoying to always have to bring it back. Um, I do like to carry this on the shoulder and have that option to carry it um, as, the, as a shoulder bag. Of course, you can adjust, and to adjust it, you just have to pull the tab, this little knob or button little knob um, off of this setting and then just push it down to adjust to your particular length for a crossbody style it is a little hard to take off and i don't want to loosen all of the the little the holes here because you can see it does have like a slit opening to allow the the button to come out a little easier uh, but it can be adjusted. I normally keep it on the shoulder length setting. If I really want to make it crossbody, of course, you can change it. The strap is removable. So let's just remove it just so it's easier for me to show the rest of the bag. Okay, so when you remove it, it comes off very easily with these clasps. Like that, and it has the beautiful Lueve stamping on it. Okay, so like I said, this is the small size, so you can search online or I can provide a link to the, the small size so you can see the dimensions and whatnot. Uh, the zipper in the back is also in gold. And as with many other videos that I've seen on YouTube, the, the zippers are very smooth. I don't know what they do to it. It's just, um, I think it's just a, a YKK zipper, although this one doesn't say it, so I'm not really sure. It has the beautiful Lueve logo on it. So when I go out, typically I would keep my phone here. So here I have an old iPhone 7. This is actually my work phone. So I would just pop it in the back. 
So the smaller, older iPhones, it still does stick up a little bit. Um, I'm filming with my newer iPhone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro. So it would probably stick up maybe, I don't know, like half an inch more. It, I do still do it that way because when I carry it on the shoulder, this part is closer to my body. Uh, sometimes I, I hold on to the, the handle here just to make sure it's really close to my body just in case because it, it can be easy to take the phone in and out, but it's, it's a convenient place to put it. Or you can of course put a card holder, in which case it, it should go all the way down and then you can zip it. Now the front here, you have this classic uh, Loewe logo here, and then the flap opens like so. Some people complain that it's hard to get in and out of the bag. For me, it's not. It's just a matter of getting used to, so you just have to like open it and stick your hand in like that. The zippers don't scratch my hand, and again, is very smooth. Usually, I actually leave the bag open because we have the flap to protect it, unless I'm going out in really crowded places. Um, then I would zip it and it's it's very easy to zip it close and the strap can be tucked in under the flap just like that. So when you're carrying it, um, you don't even really see the zipper. So when I open the bag, inside is the canvas lining, is the light color, which I do appreciate because it makes it easier to see your items. Um, I don't see any stains or anything like that. I'm usually pretty careful about what I put in my bag. I don't have any uh, items that can spill or, or anything, but sometimes I carry my Trader Joe's um, liquid hand sanitizer with the pump so it stands up. I do usually stand it up and it, it, st it does stay in place because I would have my mini pochette, other accessories in the bag to keep it um, standing up. But just to quickly show you, there's no pocket on this side of the bag, but the back side right under the, the logo is a inner pocket. It's convenient to store like a card holder or something just to um, be able to find it more easily. But it's a very simple construction. Of course, the beauty of it is the actual feature of the puzzle uh, design itself. Okay, so I actually use this more like a day-to-day -day, day -day casual bag. I find it's very convenient. It's quite lightweight. And I do have my scale just to show you the weight of the bag in case you're wondering. Um, it does hold up very well. In terms of the wear and tear, I've had this for over a year now, about a year and a half, um, and, and consistently using it. Um, you know, every couple of weeks I would rotate it. So you can see, I'll try to show close-ups. Um, I, I do have a bit of a, a scratch here, but that's probably my own doing. The handle is in very good condition. It has a beautiful white stitching. No stains or scuffs on the leather, except that, that little piece here, which I probably did myself. The, the piping is in very good condition. I don't see any cracks or anything like that. The bottom does not have feet because I think the newer models don't come with the feet, but I think it's very clean. There's no issue with the bag um, in terms of marks or stains. And, and of course everything, like the stitching is good. The piping is good. I am usually pretty careful about where I place my bag. Like I won't place it you know, if I'm in a restaurant, I won't put it on the floor when I'm eating. I usually have it on my lap. Um, no color transfer that I've seen. I typically wear jeans a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if I did see color transfer, but in this case, I, I don't see any at all. It's in very good condition. The hardware is has held up beautifully. Of course, you'll get some natural scratches here and there but I really don't see anything major wrong with it. This flap does kind of go up and down. It does stay in place. I don't, it's probably just a feature. I don't really do anything with that, uh, but hopefully this gives you a good sense of after using this bag for over a year, how it's held up. I have been caught in the rain a couple of times in it. Um, sometimes it's heavier rain or light drizzle and 
Of course, I try to protect it by keeping the body close, the bag close to my body if I'm holding an umbrella. But of course, you know, when it's raining, sometimes water does get on it. I usually dab it dry and it has not caused any kind of bubbling or anything. It's held up very nicely. So let's take the scale out and show you how much of the bag weighs. Again, this is gonna be in pounds and ounces, and I will provide the conversion below in my description of this video. So here it's set to zero, and when I weigh it, this has to be less than a pound. Actually, I'm corrected. It's a little over a pound. So you can see here is one pound, 1.6 ounces. And my scale, you can hit the mode button and so it's converted to 0.5 kg. So it is still a very light bag. I actually thought it was under a pound, but that's, you know, 1.6 ounces is not a lot of weight. It is very comfortable in the shoulder. Like I said, my only small complaint is the, the strap and this loop here. So again, any tips, please let me know in the comments below. And I guess my only other complaint would be the fact that they took away the, the four feet at the bottom of the bag. It would be nice to have it uh, because of course it will protect the bottom of the bag, but that's just something to be made aware of and just be conscious to not just toss your bag anywhere. So that's it for me today. Thank you for tuning in again. Please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video. Thank you. Bye.